This might be the best city in the world at uh, giving people little highlights and memories, things you've never seen before. I don't know if you've seen this uh, at uh, JFK uh, a couple days ago when I got in. I'm at the uh, urinal uh, taking a pee, right? And I look over next to me, and there's a little piece of poop just chilling in the urinal next to me. Yeah. Sure. And I love how half you are laughing, and that's a great New York response. You guys are just like, yeah, dude, sometimes that shit happens now, okay? So it's about time you adjust to the way things are done here. That is concerning on many levels. Why is that there? What the fuck? I can only, and I put myself always, when I th see things like that, in the shoes of the person that might have to have seen that when that went down. Like, when you're a dude at the urinal, you ladies don't know this, but when we're, you know, we don't ha have all our wits about us. We're just spacing out, just in our own heads, just, you know, oh shit, I haven't, I haven't seen an Orange Julius in a while. You know, just fucking spacing out. Yeah. You have one concern as a dude. It's I hope no one reaches over and goes, tag, you're it, and just touches your cock, you know? You're hoping those urinal walls do their job. So when you're peeing, I can only imagine what it looked like seeing some dude rushing in in a panic, pulls him down, turns around, to fucking poops in the urinal. If you see that, and now, now do you have to say something? Is that on you to have to be a hero without a cape, you know? And what do you say? You know, like, no, no, stop it, stop it. Do you think no, no, stop it is gonna change the course of this guy's afternoon? He's made a bold decision about how his day is gonna go down. And if you didn't see that, like me, that's an extra layer of confusion that I'm still a little shaken on how much I absorb that. You know, just seeing a piece of poop, I just walked in, I was like, all right, well, shit. Here I was thinking global warming was the hot button issue. <laughs> Turns out we need to shift our attention to fellas who are apparently pooping out of their penises. <laughs> it's not a future I want to raise kids in. <laughs> Think about getting a tattoo. Any dudes with tattoos in here? <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah? It's an electric woo. What do, you, uh, what do you got on your body that you're proud of, dude? I got, uh, I got you got a molecule. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but said nobody ever. Why the fuck do you have that? It's what? Dope. The government? No, it's dope. It's dope? Dopamine. All right, don't fucking take it easy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was like, it's dope, me. It's dope to me. It's dope to me. He said dopamine. Yeah. But what, you know, that's why dudes get tattoos, because they're dope to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> girls are the ones with all the deep sim symbolism and significance, but guys get, you know, guys get tattoos just fucking for themselves. Conversation starters. There's a fellow out there right now with a tattoo of Bigfoot and going down on a mermaid just because he thinks that that's, fuck that nobody has that, uh, you know. It would be cool if there was a backstory to that tattoo. Yeah, dude, my best friend Tyler fucking used to look for Bigfoot and, uh, fucking died actually looking for Bigfoot, and he always said he was gonna fuck a mermaid, so this is for him, dude. I love you, Tyler, dude. I hope you're fucking a mermaid up there, dude. <laughs> but girls, you're so good. There's just so much, you know, backstory and significance. This means something very special. I'll tell you what it means if you really get to know me. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what it means. <laughs> You were super patient. Um, I have a, actually have a tattoo of two hummingbirds spooning inside of a flower. Um, there's a bunch of Japanese lettering above it. And it means, it's very special. It means um, live your life to just, you know, live it up. <laughs> and whatever that means to you. Sorry, not sorry. And don't let anyone tell you your dreams aren't achievable because if you can see it, you can dream it, you can be it. And if things feel overwhelming, then put on your dream wings and just fly into the sky and catch your dreams and, and take a bite of your dreams and digest them and let them grow and be a part of just what and just, you know, and, and fuck you, dad. You know, and just all that's packaged in one, in one image. Just, you got all that, you know? Just on one little part of your body. <laughs> I'd have to be drunk if I get a tattoo. Avoid the pain. I'm glad I don't have a problem with booze. It's good to wake up and know that I, I have control. I got a buddy in rehab right now. He's always trying to pawn me off as his sponsor. It's tough. He'll call me up. He's like, dude, tell me not to drink. I'm like, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. Try your best and shit. I'm having a double tequila right now. It's pretty fucking tasty. Let me try the other end of the glass. We've all been there, though. Gotten a little too debaucherous, right? You wake up, you feel like booze is going to be a part of your, uh, you know, past from here on out. Right? You just wake up, just reflecting on the, the, the night prior, just, oh, I'm never drinking again. Right? And you take a shower and brush your teeth, and you're like, and I'm back in the game. <laughs> Guys got the best drunk logic, too. That's why I love uh, boozing with fellas. Because we just, you know, every dude's got a little drunk MacGyver living inside of him. You know, just, <clears throat> I could solve that. I could, give me a challenge, dude. In fact, I'm actually more productive when I drink. Yeah, you don't think I could fucking put it out of a bunk bed? It's like, dude, nobody said that, Matt. You brought that up out of nowhere. 
you know? I'm sure you can put together a bunk bed with enough instructions, you know? Also, you're driving. We're already rolling the dice on that, okay? So let's, let's live through this and then talk about bunk beds. My best friend last year got so fucked up at the end of the night, uh, lost his keys to the apartment, and then tried to open the front door to the front of his apartment by pressing his iPhone on the door. You understand, he drank so much tequila, he thought he came home to the future. That is a lot of alcohol. And he was frustrated like he'd done it before. He's like, come on, man, come on, come on, come on, come on. And normally I would laugh at that type of behavior, but he's Asian, so I was like, that's not impossible for you to fathom you could do that right now, dude. You crafty bastard. Asians are known for being well ahead of the times, technologically speaking. So when you see an Asian dude try to open a door by pressing a phone on it, we're all standing behind him like, whoa, is that something we can fucking do now? Is that, should I get the update? What are you... 